At this crucial stage in the competition, the difference between elimination and reaching the final can hinge on a moment of brilliance. And FA Cup semi-finals over the years have featured many classic moments. Wembley staged a North London derby in 1991 with the mercurial talent of Paul Gascoigne, setting spurs on the way to a Wembley final return. Is Gascoigne going to have a crack? He is, you know. Oh, I say! Brilliant! That is schoolboy's own stuff. Oh, I bet even he can't believe it. Two years later, a Sheffield derby in the semis witnessed another magical free kick from another Geordie number eight. Chris Waddle, is he going to have a crack? Oh, he does, and scores! Anything Paul Gascoigne can do, Chris Waddle can do. Alan Kelly beaten before he touched the ball. It's happened again in a Wembley semi-final. A decade later, Sheffield United were on the receiving end again, with Arsenal's David Seaman conjuring a goalkeeping masterclass. And you have aerial power in there. Paul the Blades. But can they find a cutting edge? It's over. Pesky Solano off the line. Goodness me, how did that not go in? Pesky Solano, and it was somehow kept out by Seaman. That is a fantastic save. 2011 saw a Manchester derby in the semis. Yaya Toure setting the noisy neighbours on their way to their first trophy of a new era as they edged out Sir Alex Ferguson's Manchester United. Carrick giving it away to Toure, who's in for Manchester City, yeah! It's the blue side of Manchester. Celebrating the first goal in the semi-final, the Manchester derby at Wembley. In 1994, Mark Hughes made the difference for United. Oldham were undone in the closing stages of extra time. As Hughes' goal salvaged a replay for Fergie's eventual double winners. It's only a minute to go. It's up back in for Hughes. It's there! They didn't get the ball away. United have saved it at the last minute. Extraordinary stuff. But arguably the most famous FA Cup semi-final moment also involves United 20 years ago. Giggs. Great run here by Ryan Giggs. Oh, what a goal! And I'm going to pass it. No, pass it. No. <laughs> And he scores the most fantastic goal ever in the FA Cup. And Ryan Giggs has scored one of the goals of his career to send 10 man Manchester United through. It was obviously a special season that year, and that game had everything, really. One hundred and twenty minutes of FA Cup football can separate Manchester United and Arsenal on Sunday, but there has to be a winner tonight. Two very good teams, two teams with huge tradition in the FA Cup. Incredible, the drama, us with ten men, Arsenal missed a penalty, uh, Giggs' goal, I mean, it's it, everything, absolutely everything. Sharing it, Beckham, first blood to Manchester United! Burkamp, he's got some space, he scored the equalising goal and Arsenal are right back in the FA Cup. And now Roy Keane, he's off, <laughs> oh what a game, it's his second yellow card. Palmer now for Arsenal. Oh, that's a penalty, surely. It is a penalty in stoppage time at the end of the game. How United need Peter Schmeichel to rescue them now. Dennis Bergkamp can take Arsenal to Wembley. I told you they needed. 
Julius Schmeichel, and they did! Unbelievable! Extra time. What a 90 minutes we've had. And it ain't over yet. I arrested five players, and I think Giggs was one of them. And eventually I brought him on as a sub. And I always remember uh, when uh, Vera got the ball and to cross, but I, never, I couldn't see Giggs. All of a sudden I just saw Giggs on the ball. And um, he set off, pass it, pass, pass it. The Scolzi was coming up and Yorkie was coming up and I'm going, pass it, no, pass it, no. Oh, what a goal! Would you believe it? Ryan Giggs could have taken Manchester United to Wembley. Unless you've been in that situation, especially if it's a huge goal, you sometimes lose yourself and you don't know what you're doing. Bare chested, easy. I was obviously delighted to score the, the winning goal in that game and get us to the final. After they scored that goal, I couldn't see Arsenal win actually. And it's a, we were only in 10 men too, and I just couldn't see them win because our fans are right up there. And it's there, United are back at Wembley. Semi-finals at Villa Park are like that for United. There were some fantastic moments there, and the crowd are on the pitch at the end of the game, and they the, the were on the pitch when Giggs had scored that goal. It just it lifted our team. I never used to like talking about it when I was playing because I always thought there was, you know, there's more to come. But now I've stopped. I can talk about it as much as I want.